Apple tonight, we are following up with more questions about carbon monoxide dangers following the deaths of four young local young adults vacationing up in Maine. Local Sheriff's Department up there believes a generator used in the basement produced that deadly gas. Their bodies found by a relative on Friday. And Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono is in our newsroom with the story tonight. This is the danger flyer from the CDC about carbon monoxide. It says the gas cannot be seen, smelled or heard. I spoke with the captain from the fire department in North Attleboro. He says carbon monoxide is a problem year round. Anytime you're burning a fossil fuel. This is the camp where officials in the small western Maine town of Byron say four young adults from Attleboro and Mansfield died while on vacation. It's believed they were overcome by carbon monoxide, a generator found in the basement. The house had no other electricity source. You can get headaches, uh, your skin color can get cherry red, um, you just be generally feeling terrible. I spoke with Captain Ron Darling of the North Attleboro Fire Department. He tells me carbon monoxide poisoning is more common in the winter as we heat our houses, but can happen anytime from regular appliances like a gas stove or your furnace. It's, it's an issue anytime that you're using equipment to, to produce energy. It's as simple as that. When you're producing energy with, with fossil fuels, you're producing CO. The gas, he says, starves the air of oxygen building up inside your house. If you catch the symptoms, you're lucky. But having a detector provides another level of protection. He says never use a generator inside and to always follow the instructions from the manufacturer. Always keep up your CO detectors, always keep up your smoke detectors, and, you know, may be cognizant of how people are feeling in, in the environment that you're in. The captain also tells me if a carbon monoxide detector goes off, evacuate the building immediately, then call for help. But don't open the windows and the doors. The gas still needs to be present when rescue crews arrive so they can figure out where it came from in the first place. In the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.